Okay, this is the project. Haha, -ha. we have some different selections. Let me go this direction for you. Of dolphins. I want to do, there's a big hunk of air dry clay. <laughs> there you go. That I have been um, no hands on, wrapped it in um, saran wrap, which is just clear wrap, depending on what country you're in. Um, if you happen to view me. Um, so that's, this is how I need and condition my air dry clay before using, okay? Um, if you followed my channel at all, you know that I use wax paper to make my cute clay um, creations. Uh, for instance, um, I think everyone has probably seen my schnauzer and how Nice and thin, yet very sturdy. And I painted both sides. There you go. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to be doing, only we're going to make a uh, dolphin. Um, and I'm trying to decide, that's why I have some cut out templates here. Um, I just roughly scratched, um, sketched out some on um, my template paper that I use. I've also shown that a lot of times too. I can list it in the description box. Okay. So, let me get everything prepared. I think as I'm looking into the camera there that I'm really liking this particular one. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these away. We have uh, wax papers ready to go. Um, and then we're going to start rolling out our clay. Okay. So let me get things going and I'll be in a second. Okay, just showing you a little bit. Remember wax paper. Sitting on wax paper, over the top is your wax paper, and take your roller and you, you start in the middle and roll out. For ladies, if you're a, a baker, like to, you know, make pastry, I believe that, or at least it's the way my grandmother taught me, which is to use wax paper or parchment paper. But for clay, I like the uh, wax paper a lot better. And as you see, I'm simply rolling out the clay. I do give it a turn here and there. I want it to be able to naturally be able to cut I'm a, when I'm thinking I can't talk. Sorry about that guys. Okay, let's just check our our width and see how we're doing with that against our template. Oh good, we're good. We're there. Find him his spot. Yeah, I like that. Very good. Okay. So once you've got it out the size that you want, you want to check your paper, make sure it's not getting too moist on the underside like that one was. Okay. And I like to kind of do this. To kind of smooth it out really nice. going to give it a flip. I think I am. There we are. And remember with your wax paper to always give it a, a check because it does get moist and as you see this eventually would give, well right now I still had a ways to go but I don't like to tempt fate so went ahead and got us a fresh piece and again I'm just going to do a nice smooth with my fingers over the top okay those are some of my little tricks because you can have small things with air dry clay believe it or not and they won't break Trying to gently go over it. Make sure. 
everything is good. Now, some will use popsicle sticks if they're wanting a thicker, uh, a thicker, a thicker rollout. Um, I, I really don't do that, um, but I do know others do it, and that's good. Um, but I make it so thin that probably just be maybe one popsicle stick, kind of a waste of time for me, when I, because I like doing things like this, which are more on the thin side, something to decorate a canvas with, because I have an idea for this beautiful dolphin on canvas. Okay, now we reach the stage, I'm gonna save that, where we're gonna go ahead and place our template Ooh, that looks good. Okay. Just gently rub your fingers across it like that. Real easy. See how it's adhering really well. And then, be a little more organized than me and have your scalpel ready. <laughs> okay. Um, now, if you get any little bits that like to keep popping up, just gently tap it down. Remember to watch out for fingernail. Now, all I'm doing is following, and that's why, by the way, another little tip is to outline your template with a black marker. It's a lot easier to see when you're trying to cut, okay? Otherwise, it seems like it just disappears uh, into the uh, clay. Pretty close to the edge there. Now sometimes I don't know what, how much I want to see. Because the clay is moist, it's helping that paper to stick. And after you've got the image cut out, paper. I didn't cut that good right there, so I'll fix that once we finish. Okay. Alright, instead of making y'all hold through all this, I'll be right back. I'm just going to finish cutting them out. Okay, we're bringing you right along so you can see a little better. You might want to see the cute little dolphin, right? Isn't he cute? Now all I did, as you saw, was cut around, okay? And the template's still on here. And so let's see what our template reveals. Being very gentle, knowing that I'd like to use the same exact stencil again, because they are reusable. I simply press it in a book, and very gentle with taking it off, as you saw. And I can see we got a little bit of stretching on his cute little tail. So just take a little bit of extra, a little bit of love. He's got a pretty tail. Hmm. I'm sure his fins are looking good. Oh yeah, that was right. Right around the mouth area. That was what I was... Let me just look at my template there. What did I do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta keep looking at it over and over. Okay. 
because I did not cut my template right. I'm having to do what you're seeing now, which is just kind of eyeing it. Giving him back his snout. Okay, good. And I don't mind a little bit of texture on my dolphin. Now we need to make an eye. Whoops, That's the right little instrument I like to use, which is simply a silicone type of stick. You know, all I do for that is just to make the uh, the eye. I don't go all the way through. And I also want to draw his mouth, so. Yeah, he a happy guy. Yes, he is. He's a happy, happy dolphin. Okay, when this is all dry, We'll move on to the next step in this video. It does take 24 to 48 hours to dry, but we did accomplish this. Isn't he adorable? I can lift him up a little bit. Yeah, cute, right? Even our edges are nice, if you can see that. I did not go in with water and mess with it and all that stuff. I don't do that. Very little bit of the hand, and I use the wax paper to smooth it. Okay, on to the next stage. In two days, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this little guy. Thank you for joining me at this point, and I'm going to try to connect my video. It's all about me learning too to edit, but I'd like this all to be one video, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay.